Hi peeps, welcome back. I'm Zen and welcome to the new second video in the Figma series where we look at the difference between Teams, Projects and Pages. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so this video was uh, basically inspired because I got uh, two messages on my channel, one from YoYo CR and one from Mark Wild. And the problem seems to be about being able to create new pages. And they've already done the first video and have got a student account. And then finally when they're trying to create projects, they're kind of being stuck. So I've had to go into my actual education account, which is what I don't normally use when I'm doing these videos. And what I've got up here is the first one that I had when I created this account, okay? Because when you create an account, it starts you off on the free account because the way that Figma works is that it is a team collaboration-based tool. So even though in these videos, I'm actually only working with myself, uh, the idea here is that with Figma is that you can have a whole design team so, you know, even in a classroom environment, you might have four or five people actually designing a website and you create a website together, and therefore you want to be part of the design process. And Figma allows you to do that. And I think what Figma does is in order to prevent you from mistreating the free account you get given, the, the way they work with Teams is actually really quite clever. And I'll show you what I mean. So, like I said, this team here is uh, called Tester. And I say, remember, these are the teams here. These bits in bold are the teams. So it says Tester. And so what we do up here is that we create a new project. And we're just going to, for ease, call this A. And we create project. Now, we've actually already got one project in it, okay? The one I give you called Design System, which had all the colors and stuff like that. Then you can, you know, Inside here, you can start creating your pages and stuff like that. But if you then have another project, you can click New Project, and let's just call this B, and we create Project, and there we go. So we've actually technically got three projects, the original one, Design Team, and then A and B. A and B are still empty, but we still have it. Then if we try to create a new project, it says we need to upgrade to Professional, okay? Because you can only have a maximum of three projects in the starter team. Okay, so now what's interesting about this is that if you're only working on your own, great thing all you've got to do is create a new team. Okay, so I'm just going to call this team Alpha. Okay, so if you're working on your own, then when you go to this bit here, you don't need to add your collaborators. Um, so you can just go skip from now. And you can see, because it's my education one, I get this one here, but I'm just gonna choose a starter. And then in this starter one, I can actually start another two or three projects. So again, design systems count as one project. So I'm gonna do a new project. And so we've got B, so to prove they're different, we'll go for C. And then new, oops, let's go back up into the team, then create new project. And then we go to D, create project. And there we go. And now if I try to create another project by clicking on a team and do new project, it tells me I need to go up to the professional version. Okay. If I now just create a new one, so let's create another team. We'll just call this Ed for educational. We'll create team. And then again, we can add people in here. We'll skip from now. And now I'll go into the educational one. Or if uh, you're paying for it, obviously you can go for the pro one. Choose education, it tells me it's all free. I agree to it. And here we are. So now I'm in Ed, and here I can create a new project. So we'll call this one E. Let's go back into it, create a new project. Now we can call this one F. And now, unlike the other ones, when I go to new project again, which is project G, I can create it. And I can keep going. H and so on and so forth. And like I said before, it's important to understand 
that actually Figma is really good for personal use because you can create as many pro teams as you want. I've not come across the limit to the number of teams that I can be in. Um, last year, I think I was in somewhere around 60 teams in my uh, educational account because all my students created their own team and added me to it. Whereas this year, I'm actually going to do it the other way around and I'm actually going to have a team for each student, uh, sorry, a team for each group, and then each student will have their own project inside it, which will make it a lot easier for me to manage rather than having 15 million uh, teams on the side. So why do Figma do this? Well, my I, I, again, I honestly don't know because I don't have, I'm not affiliated with them, but it'd be my guess that, like I said, they're trying to make sure that people do not abuse their goodwill, uh, especially with the education one which they give to us for free and so what i think what it is is that the access or the the rules applied to each team is based on the lowest membership of the people in that team so when you add people to it so like you know when we add members okay if they are not um, in the education like yourself or they ha don't have a professional account then they will make sure that the actual um, number of projects you can have in that team is limited to two. Now I don't know if you created more than one team with the same people what that would do would you be able to repeat that process or not I don't know and I, again I wouldn't advise that I think that's abuse of their generosity because even in a free account you can have as many projects as you want, you'll just have them out in different teams, okay? Because I'll be honest, I think perhaps in my earlier videos, uh, in my previous ones, I probably called these projects and they're not the teams. These are the project inside them. And don't forget, inside these, I don't know how many pages you can have, but I'm pretty darn sure you can have, you know, loads of files. I mean, if we go and have a look at their payment schemes, we'll, we can have a quick look. So. To do that, I'm going to sign out first. So okay, so here we are with their pricing scheme. I, I just signed out just so we could see it. And you can see again three up to two editors and three projects. I think that means that you can have up to two people changing the files in in that team, and then other people can actually just view it. See that unlimited three viewers because when you add somebody, uh, you give them rights. You know, can they edit or can they just view? Uh, so you've got an empty cloud storage, two editors, that's two people at the same time, uh, 30 day version history, which is quite handy if you accidentally delete something, and like I said, the maximum of three projects. But that is in the actual team. It doesn't stop you creating multiple teams. So if it's just yourself, you're not going to have anybody else uh, with you, just create multiple teams and you're absolutely fine. And like I say, my, it's my belief that they do this to try and stop people, um, you know, getting the having one person which is the student and then getting other people in and having like run literally running their company through figma where they've got unlimited projects and then they're you know they're inviting uh customers in to view the websites and stuff like that and making business and figma not making anything from it which is a bit unfair on them as always i hope that's been uh, helpful for you uh, if you've got any more questions about this, please do ask me a question in the comments. As you can see, I read them. I do reply to them. So, uh, as always, please like, dislike, subscribe, ring that bell, whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you and, you know, tell me how to improve this or if you want any more content. So, this is Sen, signing out.